Amen. For I 
am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, nor the present nor the future powers, neither height nor death, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Family and friends, it is my prayer that you find comfort in God's word. Amen. We will now be led in prayer by Reverend Vincent Jones, who is the executive pastor of Wheat Street Baptist Church. Let us go to God in prayer. Dear eternal God, we thank you for this moment of celebration. Celebrating a life of Eddie P. Adams. We thank you for his life. We thank you for his legacy. And we thank you for his journey. Dear God, we pray that you would continue to comfort the family in the midst of this transition. And we know that we are reminded that there is nothing that can separate us from your love. Now, as we continue to go forth, continue to be with us, oh God, in Jesus Christ's name we do pray, amen. Brother Kenneth Lowe will now bless us with a selection. In the peace, like a river, attended my way when sorrows like sea. Below the road, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, It is well. It is well with my soul. Though Satan should buffet, though trials should come, lest this Bless assurance, control. That Christ has regard in my helpless estate, and has shared. His own blood for my soul. It is well with my soul. It is well. It is well. With my soul. Now this is Eddie's verse. Oh Lord, haste the day when my faith shall be sighed. 
Oh, the clouds be rolled back as a scroll. Oh, the trump shall resound and the Lord shall descend. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for my soul. For it is well. With my soul, it is well, it is well with my soul, it is well with my soul it is well it is well with my soul God, is it well with your soul this morning? It is well with my soul. At this time, we will just hear a few reflections, and as I look around and just knowing Eddie, I'm sure each one of us have a story. We have a memory that we could stand up here and share. However, in this season of isolation and distancing and pandemic, I was able to gather some words from one of his closest friends and the chairman of our deacon board who is here this morning, and we will hear from his friend, Sister Janice Dawson. So right now, if you will indulge me, I will read some words from his longtime friend, Sister Mary Johnson. And she said, God places some people in your life for a season. Then there are special individuals he places in your life for a reason. Eddie was placed in my life for a lifetime, for a family reason. My grandmother thought Eddie was her grandson, and she took him over. I loved Eddie as an uncle, and when he began to have challenges, I stepped in. He always referred to me in the latter years as his right and left arm. I will truly miss him and love him forever. And from our very own chairman of our deacon's ministry, Deacon Jimmy Hodges, he says, Brother Adams was a committed and dedicated servant of Wheat Street. Even as a child, I remember him playing the pipe organ during worship services every Sunday. I don't even ever recall him being absent. There were two organs. However, no one could play the pipe organ as gracefully or as masterfully as Brother Adam. He had a very distinctive playing style, as well as a very distinctive and beautiful singing voice. During my fire service career, I often served on the Atlanta Fire Rescue Honor Guard team. Guard team. When the death of an active or retired firefighter occurred, during the chapel service at Donald Trimble, I recognized a familiar voice singing behind the partition. And to my surprise, it was Brother Eddie Adams. 
Brother Adams was an ardent support of Wheat Street during all pastoral administrations and transitions. He was loved and revered by everyone, both family and friends of Wheat Street. He will truly be missed. Another Wheat Street angel has gained his wings. Farewell, dear brother. Rest in power from your Wheat Street family. And oh, I can see Brother Eddie P. Adams joining up with Sister Ruth Rice, Sister Betty Bird, Brother Marvin Anderson, Sister Brenda Baker, and his old buddy, Brother Isaiah Stevens. When all God's children, when all God's children get together, what a time, what a time, what a time. We will now hear from Deacon Janice Dawson. Good morning. I know I stand here on Eddie's shoulders as a latecomer to Wheat Street Baptist Church, but never felt more at home. He was the type of person, he didn't care your lady, man, boy, or girl. He had something special for you. You know that there are not many people that walk in and out of your life, but only true, the word is true, friends, leave a footprint in your heart. And one of Eddie's songs that he took to mind, and we discussed this quite some time, if I can help somebody as I pass along, if I can cheer someone with a word or a song, if I can show somebody that you are traveling wrong, then my living will not be in vain. Oh, he went to the chorus and said, my living shall not be in vain, then my living would not be in vain. If I can help somebody as I pass along, then my living then my living, then my living will not be in vain. Eddie P. Adams, rest in peace. Amen, amen, and praise God. It's Bishop J.D. Means here, amen. One of these mornings, won't be very long, you're going to look for me, and I'll be gone. Oh, I'm going to a place. Well, I have nothing, nothing left to do but just walk around heaven all, all day. When I get to heaven, I'm going to jump and shout. Nobody 
but the Savior will be able to put me out. Oh, I got a mother over there waiting and a father, a father over there too. And we'll walk around heaven all day. Oh, oh, Lord, up above, please just hear me pray. Walk right by, by my side. And oh Lord, win my way, win my way, it grows cloudy. I need you, I need you to be my guide. Yeah, every day. It will be Sunday, oh, and the Sabbath will have no end. We'll do nothing but sing and praise His holy name. Yes, I'm waiting for the Lord to say, well done. Oh, Jesus, and my race, your race, I know it will be one. And we'll walk around heaven. I said we'll walk around heaven. One of these old days, we're going to walk around heaven. No more sickness over there when we walk around Heaven, oh, Lord, I, I, I said, I, I said, we'll walk, walk, we'll walk, we'll walk, we'll walk, 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 and I said that we'll walk around heaven. Day. Amen. Amen. Come on and give God some praise out here at this grave side. We'll walk around heaven all day. As we prepare now for our words of comfort, we will hear from we. Reverend J. Leon Hogan. I think I can talk loud enough so that everybody can hear me. But nevertheless, I want to say to all of you that I want to make ask you to do me a favor before the day is over and that is I want you to read 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 I want you to read that before you go home and go to bed this afternoon 5 it was August, it was November, rather, the 10th, about five, about five minutes to six o'clock. And uh, we generally have prayer service on that Tuesday morning. And as we normally get together, I heard the lady said, mute. 
And then the one who has been instrumental in doing the calling post said, to him, said do you know that some of you may have heard that Eddie Adams made his transition on yesterday. And so we proceeded to uh, have the prayer service and uh, we concluded by saying the Lord's Prayer. And after we got off the phone, I sat there thinking about my friend, Ed Adams. I began to brood over the information that was given to me. And I thought about how way back when, as president of the men who usher, I thought about how we crewed getting uh, Eddie aboard. And so we did the thing that I did most, and that was I talked to Stevens. And I told him that we wanted him to be a member of the men who usher board. He, he came aboard. And then after he came aboard, then he recruited. At that time, he wasn't a deacon, but it was uh, Mercer Dawson who was uh, on the, in the Kualov. And so then the two of them and I talked and we got uh, Eddie Adams aboard. Yes. Eddie Adams was a member of the men who usher. And yes, he was a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord. Those of you who remembered him will know that he was a particular in everything that he did, everything that he so did. As I brooded over the information that had come to me, I thought about how long had I known Eddie. No, I did not really know Eddie when he worked at Riches for a few days. And no, I did not associate with Eddie when he was at Lockheed. But I sat there as I brooded over the information and I thought about my mother. My mother was a member of a social and saving club. And uh, in November they would get together and they would count the money out. And they would uh, passed the money out to everybody, and that was the Christmas money. And so she'd come home and she'd said, uh, uh, her sister and my grandmother, well, I'm back president again. And she said, you know what we're going to do? We're going to have a installation the first uh, Sunday in June, in January, and she said, you know, we're going to get uh, you talking to me. I want you to sing a song. <laughs> and we're going to get Charles Gideon to install us. Most of you don't remember Principal Gideon. But uh, he, he always installed it, my mother. And she said, we're going to get Eddie Adams to play for you. And so as I sat there brooding over the information, 
I thought about how long it had been for me to have remembered him. I remembered as I sat there that passage of scripture that says that I ask you to study and prove seeing that we are no, in compass of our so great a cloud of witness. That's not the one I want. I want the one that says you, we are a temple of the most high God. We are temples. He says that if by chance I'm absent from the body, I'll be present with the Lord. As I sat there brooding over the information, I thought about the fact that all of us are just tents. We're not uh, made from Home Depot uh, or, 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 or some of these other lows. We are just plain, ladies and gentlemen, we are just plain tents. We pitch our tent here today, and we pitch our tent here tomorrow. We are just plain old tents. I don't know whether or not where you're going to leave from here. You're going to go maybe to CVS, Walgreens, Target, or some other place. And I don't know what you're going to buy. But I just come by to tell you on my way to the last page that I had prepared. And that is that uh, I don't know what you're going to buy. But whatever you buy, I guarantee you, it's going to be something to prepare that tent, that tent. Maybe some aspirins, maybe some liniment, maybe some mustard oil or whatever it is. Trust me, you just patching that tent. Oh, my brothers and sisters, the tent wears down. The tent pulls up. Yesterday, I found myself getting up out of bed. But I know that the tent is slowly, 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 slowly tearing up. Paul. The writer says, seeing that we are encompassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us run with ways. I believe that uh, we're going to commit his body. And I call this place the cola sack of empty houses. I believe in my soul that it is looking down. And if I had one request now, it would be very simple. Oh, Eddie and I would talk. And he said to me, you know, you can't even carry a tune in a slop jar. Y'all catch that as you go out the driveway. And so I would say to Eddie, no. I don't want no wings to fly around heaven. No, I don't want no wings or shoes. All I want Eddie to do for me is to be able to tell the conductor in the choir off of that, to give me a vocal cord that I can sing elect Bishop I would to God that he could help me to 
sang the song, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Yes, I would to God that I could sing. I mentioned the fact that my mother wanted us to sing. She was saying that old, wanted me to sing that old song. Preachers and teachers would make their appeal, fighting like soldiers on great battlefield. When to their pleading, my poor heart did yield. All that I know is I've got something. Yes, I've got something within. Eddie would come in with, do you have that something? That something would die. Do you have it? And so today I ask you, words of comfort. If I was at church, I would say, the, the, down the street, and I'd be talking about the Masonic Order, and I would say to them, we say, fare you well, Eddie. Then we say it again, fare you well, Eddie P. And then we would say it again, fare you well, Eddie P. Allen. Yes, it is. Good morning, children. Good evening, children. The day will come, and if you know the Lord, you won't have to come back out here, just do your thing. But you will know that Eddie is looking down on all of us, knowing that he, he is with us, because it is not goodbye. It is just so long for a while. To God be the glory, great things he has done. Let us pray. Our Father, as we come, we thank you, dear God, that you gave us, all of us, in the sound of my voice, one Eddie P. Adams. And, O oh, eternal God, our Father, we ask that you will bless us, continue to help us, and continue on that road to one day we all will meet together again to say that we all, yes, God's children, when we all get together, what a time, what a time, God, we will have. This is your servant prayer, I pray in Christ's name. Amen. To his hand, God's, God's unchanging hand. Oh, 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 to his hand. Oh, God's unchanging hand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Oh, to God's unchanging hand. Time is filled with swift transition. Oh, none on earth unmoving stand. You just feel all of your hopes on the eternal. Oh, hold to God's 
unchanging hand. Here's another verse. It says, trust in him who will not leave you. Whoa, whatsoever the years may bring. Yes, tell another part. If, if my, my earthly friends were shaken, oh, still more closely to him claim. But there's another part of the story. And it says that when, when your journey is completed, oh, Lord, and if to God you have been true, tell another part, oh, fan bright, and bright, your home and glory. glory. Yeah. To him clay. Oh, everybody ought to hold to its hand. God's unchanging hand. Everybody ought to hold to its hand. Oh, Lord. God's unchanging hand. You just be. On things eternal, oh, just hold on to God's unchanging hand. I think we ought to say it just one more time. Everybody ought to hold to His hand. Oh, God's unchanging hand. Everybody ought to hold to His hand. Oh my God, son, change in hand. You just build your hopes on things eternal. Oh, and hold to God, son, change in As I usually say, we gather here in what I call the cul-de-sac of empty houses. For the record says that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And so, It comes my duty to commit this body back to where it came. That is the earthly part of it. We come now to commit this body back to the elements from which it came. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. Believing in the final resurrection of him who said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Yes, it is, as I said earlier, it is not goodbye. It is just so long for a while. It is just so long until we see him in, in the morning. Sleep on, brother, and we'll see you after a while. this time family members and friends
This will bring to the close of our services for Mr. Eddie P. Adams. We would like to pay a special thanks to Reverend Hogan, to Reverend Burnett, and to the entire Wheat Street Baptist Church family. Also, I would like to acknowledge Mr. Donald Trimble's niece, Mrs. Shadonna Trimble Hoster. Eddie was a part of the Trimble family for a number of years playing the organist stated earlier. And I remember so many years ago that we would have services there in the chapel and people would often ask, who is that man behind the wall there that's singing? And oftentimes they would want to meet Mr. Adams. And I had a favorite song with Mr. Adams that I shared with Nicole and her mother in the office just the other day that uh, Eddie would sing this song, Fix Me. And I would often tell Eddie, this family wants you to sing this song. But really, they did. But then also, I wanted him to sing that song because <laughs> I love to hear him sing it. So one day he pulled me to the side and he said, let me tell you something, boy. I'm going to make you that song. And he made me a, a it wasn't a CD, a, a tape, a cassette, thank you, and of that song, Fix Me. And uh, I still love to hear that song to this day. But once again, we thank you for everyone who took a participant part in this services. Bishop Means, Kenny Lowe, some of the old guards from singing with Eddie down through the years. And some of you just out here from Wheat Street. I'm sure there's a lot of people that would love to have been here today was unable to come. But we say to God be the glory. It is with kindness, concern, and thoughtfulness our Christian virtues expressed in many ways by sincere friends. The Adams family is eternal grateful for all your act of kindness, your presence here today. Thank you once again. Amen, amen. And to the family, it is our prayer that you will be comforted, uh, not only in this moment, but in the days, the weeks, and the months, and the years to come. It is our prayer that God will continue to give you a peace that passes all of your understanding. And let us all go to God in prayer. Dear God, we just want to say thank you for the gift of eternal life. We realize that our hope is in the resurrection of your son, Jesus Christ. And dear God, on this morning, we are so glad and we know that Eddie Adams has transitioned to a new home. We know that on this morning, he has gained a pair of wings and has gone on to glory. We know that he has taken off the garment of mortality and put on a brand new robe of immortality. We know that he has put on a brand new crown in glory. And I know the angels in the baritone section of heaven are rejoicing with us this morning. Spirit of the living God, continue to give us the peace that passes all of our understanding in these moments of grief. And as we leave this place, we are comforted in the fact that we will never leave your presence. In Jesus Christ's name we do pray. Everyone said amen, amen, and amen. Thank mm -hmm. you.